Yo, what up, Brick Squad? Welcome back to another video. Today, uh, we got some Lego stuff to unbox. This is gonna be a haul from the Lego store. I went actually yesterday at the time I filmed this video, however, and I'm not sure when I'm gonna post it. Now, you guys are probably used to me having sets and like 20th anniversary sets in my haul as well. Today is purely gonna be parts except for one set, which we will get into in a little bit. Actually, a lot, oh my gosh, a lot of the stuff that we got today um, is gonna be actually be Foreign Axis. I, I'm very ready for the project itself. I'm very excited to actually start it up. So uh, first things first, let's actually get into this box right here. So if you guys have seen my North Carolina vlogs, um, you may get this reference. Um, the store we went to actually had a couple of parts or actually only one part that I really wanted. Um, so basically I just opened it up, but I called ahead and I actually asked them to, you know, pick it off the wall ship it to my house because at the time um, I didn't actually have these pieces on my local pad wall so I kind of needed these guys from them so really I just called over the phone called the store and then they ended up shipping them to me um, but in here is going to be a bag worth a three cups worth at least it should be this bag's actually taped a little weird I'm not too sure why they sent it like this but anyways in here is actually going to be a uh, three full picker brick cups full of the one by two, a uh, dark bluish gray tile. Um, this is again, something that I actually found at my local pub, so I didn't actually need these. Um, but I ordered these like a couple of weeks ago and it finally came. Um, so it's always nice to have more of these. Um, hopefully it's three cups in here. I'm gonna have to measure those out as soon as I can. Um, but that is gonna be it for part number one of today's haul. I'll put these pieces off to the side. I'll get those sorted in my collection very soon. Now I did go really hard on pick a brick and basically what I did was I filled 10 different pick a brick cups full of a lot of dark bluish gray brick. As not know, an axis is basically a dark bluish gray sort of terrain and also the road is primarily dark bluish gray. So I ended up using the stacking technique where you like make circles and stuff like that to actually fill up in your cup and it actually came out to a decent amount of stuff. I'm not sure how many bricks are specifically in one sort of go, but basically I got full, 10 full brick brick cups, as you guys can see, some two by sixes and two by twos. In fact, I actually took all the two by sixes from the store. So I had to um, eventually move on to two by six in light gray, which is still fine. It's probably gonna be a very useful part. In total, I did end up getting 10 cups of these guys. I really, really do need these, and I figured I'm gonna have to buy them eventually, so I'd rather just do them while I was there, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these cups out. Again, we got 10 cups of these. This is definitely going to be a great start for an action. I don't think that this is going to be enough for the entire thing, but this should definitely get me through the first couple of weeks. So one more cup here, and then here we go. That is all 10 of the larger cups. Now we did also end up getting a couple more cups here. The other one's going to be a one by two light bluish gray slopes. I figured these would be pretty useful for either just some interior decorating or some just stuff um, just on the mock in general. I don't have like a huge amount of these, so nice to have them. And then the other one, which you guys may or may not give me flack for, we got more bread. Um, this is actually what I already have the bread, so I'll just actually put these in the bag. When it comes down to it, you need bread. Um, I figured I would need bread, you always need to get that bread, so let's, uh, let's just dump these in here. <laughs> so now we have a full bag full of some bread, which is dope. And to answer your question, no, I don't know why, I don't know how I'm gonna use these guys, I don't know why I bought them, but uh, they're pretty cool. And then because I got like 12 cups, I did end up getting a lot of promos. I got three of the Easter promos here. Um, these are the Easter, I think these are like the Easter egg bunny thing, little hatching things. Kind of like the Darth Vader pod. Um, it's got some cool little details. So I got one, two, and then I believe there is yep, one more right here, which is nice. And that wraps it up for that bag. And then the very last thing that we got here was a pretty big impulse buy, if I do say so myself. You guys may know that the new Steamboat Willie line actually had a misprint. It's, it's, Lego, it's Lego idea set number 25. But unfortunately, the first round that LEGO did it, they misprinted it and it said 24. The store that I went to had a couple of them remaining, so I figured it would be a really great collector's item because, like I said, it does have that misprint of 24 on the bottom. So definitely something I'm not going to open. This is purely a collector's thing right here. It is $90. I did, I think, use like $10 or $20 for my VIP points. So it wasn't full cost, um, but it's definitely a nice box, definitely a pristine box, and I'm really happy that I was actually able to get one of the misprints because down the line, I'm sure this is going to be something that's kind of expensive. It was really cool because the employee actually mentioned this to me, and I just completely didn't see this. Um, I probably wouldn't open this set anyway, I think it's a really cool idea design. I think $90 is a little much, but I do think down the road later, especially because that misprint right here, you guys can see, hopefully without the glare, it says Lego Ideas number 24, but it's supposed to be 25, so that's a cool little unique collector's item. Um, the whole first wave of these sets, for as far as I know, for everywhere that it was sold is complete like this, so for a long time, I think there's going to be boxes like this, so we definitely can keep this for a couple of years, especially after it retires. And I guess the last thing we got here is going to be two more of the Easter promos. Like I said, I spent a pretty good amount of money at the Lego store. 
So the guy there hooked it up, so I super appreciate that. Now, what I'm gonna do really fast before I head out today is I'm actually gonna start taking apart all these dark blue gray bricks. I wanna sort them and see how many I got within 10 cups, and I'll catch you guys in a second. Two hours of taking all those uh, bricks apart from the cups. This is what we have here, all the dark bluish gray. This is all from the Pab Cups, literally every single piece you see here. This is a pretty deep bin. It's uh, it's definitely got a lot, which is great. Um, and then also we have pretty much a full bin of the two by two. So this is a great start for building that snot technique uh, sort of pathway for an axis. Obviously I still left these guys in this cup because this is a pretty unique bin. And then I finally filled up the bread. Uh, it's almost full. I think we're gonna leave it at that. This right here is three pick -a cups worth of freaking, freaking bread, which is great. Um, but anyways guys, that's gonna be pretty much the entire haul. I did move the stuff down there, like the, like the Easter egg and the promos and all that kind of stuff. Um, but this is pretty much the main bulk of the haul. This is really why we, we went mostly getting stuff ready for an axis and get ready to build that so guys that's gonna wrap up this haul i hope you all enjoyed definitely go and smash the like button down below for me and of course subscribe if you guys are new and i will see y'all in the next video take it easy fam peace